When Elise, a dog walker, finds a note attached to an abandoned dog's collar in the woods, she faces a situation that will drastically alter her life. Discover how this chance encounter leads her into a series of events that test her character and open new doors she didn't see coming. Hi everyone, welcome to Tales Unveiled. You won't want to miss today's extraordinary story. Let's get started. Elise was a 20-year-old high school dropout who worked as a dishwasher in a fancy restaurant not too far from where she lived. As a teenage girl, Elise had always wanted to get a college degree in business management. A year after she graduated from high school, she gained admission into her dream college. It was a prestigious college in her hometown, famous for its top-notch quality of education. When Elise gained admission, her parents were still together. But sadly, a year after she began schooling, something terrible happened. Elise's mother was diagnosed with cancer, and during that tough time, her father divorced her mother. Before the divorce, Elise's parents were not exactly on good terms, but they always managed to patch things up. Sadly, when the cancer came, Elise's father decided it was time to end things. Since Elise was an only child, she was the only one who could take good care of her mother. Because things were tough financially, Elise had to drop out of college to find a job to support her mother. Aside from working as a dishwasher at the fancy restaurant, Elise also walked dogs as a side hustle. In fact, walking dogs was something Elise used to do a lot as a teenager, but she had to stop after she gained admission to the university. Every Wednesday and Sunday, Elise would go to her old clients and ask if she could walk their dogs, and they would agree since their dogs were already familiar with her. Over the past years as a dog walker, she had built a good relationship with the dogs and their owners. While most people thought the only reason Elise walked dogs was because of the money she earned from it, that wasn't true. From childhood, Elise had always been a dog lover, but unfortunately, her parents wouldn't adopt one for her or even let her keep one. They believed Elise was too young to keep a pet, and she never got one in the end. So, when Elise became a teenager, and she discovered that she could walk dogs and get paid for it, she took the job as a way to spend time with her favorite animals. One Sunday evening, after a long day of caring for her sick mother, Elise decided to walk the dogs. That day, since she wasn't feeling too well, she decided that she wouldn't get too many dogs, so she decided to walk just four. Good evening, Bella. Would you like me to walk Sushi and Cherry for you today? Elise asked Bella, a 36-year-old woman who lived down her street. Bella was the mother of Sushi and Cherry, two of Elise's favorite dogs. Oh, Elise, I would love that. Sushi has gained some weight in the past weeks, and she really needs to go for a walk, Bella said excitedly. Please hold on, let me get their leashes, she added. The next minute, Bella returned with Sushi and Cherry on their leashes. When the two dogs saw Elise, they barked excitedly. I missed you guys too, Elise chuckled as the dogs jumped around her and barked excitedly. Thank you, Bella. We'll be back in two hours, Elise said as she led the dogs away. That day, because Elise wanted a bit of solitude, she decided to walk the dogs through the woods instead of their regular route. As a local who grew up in the neighborhood, Elise knew all the shortcuts in the woods, so it wasn't her first time walking through them. The main reason Elise decided to follow the woods that Sunday evening was because she considered the woods her sacred place, a place where she could feed her eyes on other things except her problems. Since she was used to the shortcut, Elise knew she would be in and out of the woods before sunset, just in time for the dogs to get home. About 30 minutes after Elise began her walk through the woods, she heard what sounded like the soft cry of a dog. At first, Elise did not pay attention to what she had heard because she believed one of the dogs with her was making the sound, but when she listened closely, she realized the sound was coming from the woods. Could the dog be in danger? Elise soliloquized. Or maybe it's lost, she added. Almost immediately, while Elise was trying to understand why the dog was out in the woods crying for help, the dog gave a weak howl, and immediately after Elise heard that, her heart broke. Without wasting time, Elise followed the sound, which led her to the dog. Unfortunately, things were way worse than Elise had imagined. The dog she found had been abandoned and tied to a tree, but that wasn't all. The dog had scars on its body, and it was very emaciated. Judging from the way the dog looked, 
It was obvious that it had not eaten anything in days, and it was so weak that it could barely stand on its feet. When Elise walked closer to the dog and saw its horrible state, she broke into tears. Even though the dog was very weak, the minute it saw Elise, it began to wag its tail and bark weakly. There was also a small note attached to the dog's collar, and when Elise took it and read it, it made her cry more. Through the note, Elise found out that the dog had been abandoned by its previous owner because it was no longer useful to them. But that wasn't all. Just a few trees away from where Elise found the weak dog, she found out from the note that there were ten more abandoned dogs. Initially, Elise believed the note could have been a bluff, but when she walked deeper into the woods to confirm if it was true, she saw something that broke her heart. Out of the ten dogs that were abandoned, two dogs had died from starvation and lack of care, and the other dogs wouldn't stop sniffing and poking the dead dogs, trying to wake them up. Immediately after Elise saw that, she called animal services and reported what she had seen. About 20 minutes after she placed that call, animal services arrived and they rescued all the abandoned dogs. It turned out that the poor dogs used to be fighting dogs. So after several years of fighting, the owner decided to discard them because they had grown old and were no longer useful. When Elise decided to follow the sound of the dog, she tied the four dogs she was walking to a tree because she wasn't sure what she was walking into and didn't want to endanger their lives. Since Elise had to wait with the abandoned dogs until animal services arrived, she completely forgot about the other dogs. Unfortunately for Elise, by the time she returned to where she had tied the dogs, they were all gone, and there was no trace of them. At that moment, Elise nearly fainted because she knew she would be in big trouble if she didn't find the dogs. For nearly 15 minutes, Elise walked through the woods, calling out for the dogs, but she still couldn't find them. Oh my gosh, what do I do now? Elise said in a teary voice. She knew how important the dogs were to their parents, and she didn't know how to go to them and tell them she had lost their dogs. After trying to find the dogs, but being unsuccessful, Elise walked out of the woods with the intention of going to the police. But just as she exited the woods, she heard the dogs barking and ran to them. Do they belong to you? I thought someone might have abandoned them there, the man who had rescued the dogs said. Oh yes, I was walking them, thank goodness. I was worried someone had stolen them, Elise said in a relieved tone. Oh no, not at all. I was just about to take them to the police, the man said. Thank you very much, sir, Elise said. While Elise spoke to the man, she had no idea who she was talking to. It wasn't until the animal service team came out of the woods with the other abandoned dogs that Elise realized who she was talking to. I didn't know you were the one who called, the man said. I couldn't just leave them to die. It would be cruel of me, Elise said. For helping us find these dogs, we will reward you, the man said. When Elise heard she would be getting a reward for helping find the dogs, she thought it would be a newspaper recognition. Days later, when she was called to receive some money, Elise could not believe it. Though the money was not plentiful, it was enough to take care of Elise's bills and pay for her mother's medication. She even used some of the money to begin an online business, where she sold shoes and made a lot of profit. As for the dogs that were rescued, they received urgent medical care, and in a matter of weeks, they were barely recognizable. They had grown healthy and were full of life compared to when they were found. Elise's time in the woods taught her that doing the right thing, even when it's tough, can lead to unexpected rewards. By helping the abandoned dogs, she faced challenges, but also found new opportunities. Sticking to your values and being kind can bring surprising benefits and personal growth. Loved this story? Tap that like button and subscribe to the channel for more. Let us know how this story made you feel with a single word in the comments. While you're at it, check out the video currently on your screen. See you next time.